Welcome to Lovers of Jesus Ministries International. The message you are about to hear is from the Lord's anointed Dr. Edward Irobi, the man with the mandate to proclaim the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and to raise an army for the Lord in this end time. You are all welcome to our online Bible study today. Um, I know some of you must have um, logged in from different parts of the globe. I want to let you know that um, you are all welcome. It's our honor to have you with us today. And we trust that the Lord is going to bless us as we hear his word this evening. Today, we are going to look into God's word and we are going to continue from where we stopped last week. We are going to study the topic that says God is omniscience and uh, omniscient. God is omniscience and omniscient. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we welcome your presence. Hallowed be your name, thy kingdom come. That will be done in our lives as it is in heaven. Father, as we go into your world, we pray that you speak to us. Let us see wondrous things out of your world. Let our lives be transformed into the image of your son. And as you continue to prepare us for the rapture, in Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen and amen. Beloved, today I'm excited to um, provide this um, study today from where we stopped last week. Last week, remember, we started a, a, a new series that, um, that we termed The Nature of God. That was the new series, The Nature of God or God's nature. And we started exploring the nature of God by initiating the study on, we initiated a, a study on the sovereignty of the Lord, God's sovereignty. And we listed eight attributes of the Lord that hopefully we are going to explore during the course of our study. So today we are going to pick on two attributes of the Lord. We are going to combine them because of the way they are interwoven in um, both um, discussing them and uh, understanding them. So today we are going to uh, explore God is omniscience and omniscient. When you hear omniscient God, omniscience God, what comes across your mind? So I want to start by laying this um, foundation so that we'll be on the same page. Some people may think that there is huge difference between the two. Uh, I, I will tell us how the difference, if at all, is and um, how two of them seem to be a little bit intertwined. When we talk about omniscience, it's, uh, it's, re it's a related term of uh, omniscient, actually. So omniscience, um, according to um, Stanford Encyclopedia, it means the property of having complete or maximum knowledge. Property of having complete or maximum knowledge. This is one of the central attributes of the Lord. One of the central attributes of divine uh, um, person we call the Lord God Almighty. So, now, when you hear omni-science, when you hear omniscient, we are going to understand from this presentation that it does not deviate all that. Let's put it in this way. When we talk about omniscient God, it means that God knows everything. God knows everything, omniscient God. 
But now when you talk about omniscience, omniscience is he has the complete or maximum knowledge. So, as I say, it looks a little bit intertwined. All right. Another uh, um, dictionary presented it in this way. That omniscient God is a God who knows everything. Such a God would have the power to know the past, the present, and future. Which is correct. If God has maximal knowledge, then it means that he knows both the past, the future, and the present. So, that reminds me of a story I heard many years ago of a young Christian teenager. That young Christian teenager, one day he was combing his hair. So as he was combing his hair, he discovered that some hair strands fell off. So when some hair strands <laughs> fell off his head, you know, so he picked one and was admiring the hair strand. And he said, hmm, I know that the scripture says that even the very hairs of our head, that they are numbered. Who knows the number of this particular strand of my hair? <laughs> so he was of the understanding eh, that the Lord was aware of all the hairs on his head. So if we can go to the scriptures in the book of, uh, let's touch base on that a little bit. The book of Luke, Luke chapter 12, verse 7. Luke chapter 12, verse 7. But even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not. Therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. That's the word of the Lord Jesus. Telling us that we are of more values than many sparrows. The sparrows, we know the birds that are called sparrows. Very small little birds. They move around very fast in the air. And the, our Heavenly Father is aware of their movement and how he feeds them. Now, the Lord Jesus reminding his disciples, saying, Hey, no matter how tiny these sparrows are, how they move around in the air, feeding your Heavenly Father, says that you are more valuable than those sparrows. Even the very hairs on your head, they are all numbered. Okay. Remember, we are exploring the topic that says God is omniscience and omniscient. Just imagine my head. I have, will you call it maybe thousands, if not hundreds of hair follicles on my head. And our Heavenly Father is aware when I lose one hair strand. That should make me to relax that someone really cares for me. Someone really takes care of me. Let's go to the book of uh, Psalms and uh, explore this a little bit more. Psalms chapter 139, verse number 7 to 12. Here we are going to see an expression of the infinite knowledge and the providence of God. God is aware of everything. He has the perfect knowledge, complete knowledge of everything. He's so many science. He's so many shamed God. Psalm chapter 139, verse number 7 to 12. With, whither shall I go from thy spirit? Or, whither shall I flee from thy presence? 
If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the outermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely, the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. That's the omniscience nature of the Lord. The psalmist recognized that. Why are we exploring the omniscience nature of the Lord? You may ask. Why are we interested in this topic? Because we are God's children. And God, the Lord wants to remind us that he is with us all the time. He does not keep a blind eye concerning what we are passing through on the surface of the earth. Because sometimes we do think, oh, we are not sure that the Lord knows what we are passing through. We are not sure that the Lord is aware of my situation. But the Lord is reminding us, I am omniscient. I am omniscient. I am here. I know everything about you are today. I know everything about yesterday. And I know everything about tomorrow, future. When we have this understanding, it will make us to stay at peace. It will make us not to panic. It will make us to know that our Heavenly Father, who takes care of the little sparrows, He will not leave us unattended. He will not leave us unattended. That reminds me of another uh, 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 personal experience. 1992, my elder brother was about leaving for Canada. I was then in the university in Nigeria. And he informed me, hey, younger brother, some days from now, I'll be flying to Canada. If you wouldn't mind, you can leave the city where you are in East, uh, Eastern Nigeria and come over to another uh, um, city in Northern Nigeria called Mina. I live in Mina. Come and see me before I leave for Lagos, Nigeria, and pick up my visa from there, and then I'll fly off. I was not given his home address. Just imagine. He just told me that, you know, he was teaching in the University of Mina as a lecturer. And he didn't give me his, <laughs> his address where he was living. And I didn't want to miss my brother. I wanted to see him, hug him, meet with him before he will leave for Canada. I have to take a risk. And I prayed, I said, Lord, you know everything. You know my heart. Please lead me to Mina, Niger State, Nigeria. I have not been to that part of the country before. I want to see my brother. I had that confidence that the Lord is omniscient and he will lead me. He will help me. I wasn't given any, I wasn't given any address. So when I got into Mina, the Lord gave me the mindset that I got into University of uh, 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 Federal University of Technology, Mina, where he informed me he was a lecturer. And I entered there and I met somebody at the gate and I said, please, I'm looking for such and such a person, a faculty here. Can you imagine? Entering into university randomly, you find yourself talking to somebody, asking of somebody, 
in a population of around three or five thousand people and the man said okay oh that man i know him biological sciences okay if he told you that uh, he was about traveling to lagos then no need of going to the department to ask of him and i told him you know he's of the assemblies of god's church do you know anybody here who attends assemblies of god in the neighborhood and as i was making this uh, inquiry i was saying lord i trust you Lord, I believe in you. You are going to lead me to where I will meet with my big brother. And I heard, son, I will send my angel who is going to lead you and you will meet with your brother. <laughs> I know some, some people will say, Edward, what's the nature of that angel? But something happened. Immediately, that person took me to a particular neighborhood where assemblies of God's church people lived as a den. They said, oh, you are a brother to Nelson. We know him. We know him. Come, we will show you where he lives. Can you imagine that? Someone who said, oh, that was a coincidence. No, 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 no. It wasn't a coincidence to me. Somebody without an address going to a, a new city to find somebody, you know, I mean, it's only God that can do something like that. So knowing that the Lord had that capacity, that knowledge of where my brother was living, that the Lord was able to help me to locate him even without the address was very, very helpful on the onset. And then one of the sisters there has to take me to my brother's residence. What am I trying to say? God is omniscient. He knows everything. He knows where you are living. He knows where I'm living. What he wants is, can we trust him that he is omniscient? He knows today. He knows tomorrow. And he can tell us about yesterday. That's why we are interested in studying the nature of God or the attributes of the Lord.